Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on scientific notation. All right, this is write the following numbers in scientific notation. Scientific notation means you take one number. That number is one through nine, single digit, then a decimal point, and then however many other numbers you need to write, then an X. Scientific notation still uses that X. Usually in math, I say don't use an X for multiplication because an X is a variable and we use it all the time for as a variable, but in scientific notation, we still use an X. If you don't want to use that X because you really hate it, then use an asterisk, but don't use a dot because we already have a decimal point and scientific notation is still, you know, still uses that X. And then you use a 10 and it has an exponent. Now a positive exponent means you're multiplying by uh, 10 and a negative exponent means you're dividing. So positive exponent is multiplying, negative exponent dividing. Okay, so the first non-zero number is four, decimal point three, I don't need all the rest of the zeros, times 10. To get the 4.3 back to 43 million, I would have to multiply, so I want a positive exponent, and I'd have to multiply by 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. So I would multiply by seven, 10 times, so that's my exponent. Seven, or 10 controls your decimal point. So when you multiply by 10, you move your decimal point over. When you divide by 10, you move your decimal point back. So 10 is the controller of your decimal point, so that's why our scientific notation has the 10. For this one, we have 8.62 times 10. Eight is our first non-zero decimal point, the rest of the numbers times 10. This time we would divide to get it back. We would divide by 10 once, twice, three, four, five, six times. Negative because we're dividing, six because that's how many times we would divide to get it back. Now this one's tricky. 9.381 times 10. To get this back to here, the decimal point isn't returning to the right side of the one, it's returning to between the three and the eight, which means I only need to move the decimal point one time to get it back to the original number. Don't always think that the decimal point has to go all the way back to the farthest right-hand point. Look at where it started from. Here, 5.067 times 10, if we look at this, the decimal point is staying in the same place. So if we're talking about how many places the decimal point moves, it's moving exactly zero places. Anything to the power of zero is one. So the 5.067 isn't to the power of zero, but that 10 is. So 10 to the power of zero is one. So this is equivalent to 5.067 times one which is why that works, because that gets us back to our original number. Okay, by the way, you can pause at any point and try answering these on your own and then checking with my answers. Here we have 7.082 times 10, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Here we have 3.005, so I went to the first non-zero, decimal point, everything else till I got to my last number times 10, let's see, one, two, three. Divide by 10, three times to get to the original. Okay, so then I have a few, they're not really word problems, but they're like application, how this would be wor worded in the real world. The speed of light in a vacuum is, let's see, tens, thousands, millions, billions, one billion, 80 million kilometers per hour, write this in, scientific notation, so that's 1.08 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 kilometers per hour. If you are given labels, make sure your final answer has those same labels. That's really important. Mathematicians love their labels on answers. Anytime you can label an answer, it's a beautiful thing. Okay, the distance from the Earth to the Sun is about 93 million miles, so that's 9.3 times 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 miles. The density of oxygen is 0.001332 grams per cc, so that's 1.332 times 10 to the negative, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 
grams per cc. Otherwise, the density would be much smaller if we don't take it out of something. Okay, <laughs> the mass of a dust particle has a lot of zeros. Okay, seven, this is why we, this right here, this and this, this is why we use scientific notation because this is a ridiculous number to have to write. But how, how many times are we dividing? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, negative ten kilograms. This is why we use scientific notation for these really, really big and really, really small numbers. It is much easier to carry this notation than all of those zeros. If I had to write this number over and over, I would not write the right number of zeros every time. I promise you I would make a mistake. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.